Patriotic Minnie Mouse Gel Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Give her a kiss. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Hi, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Minnie Mouse Patriotic Nail Art Design that's got all kinds of gorgeous glitter in it and shimmer and fun stuff. And it's very red, white, and blue. That was kind of my main goal in mind, is to keep it only red, white, and blue. So I'm going to be showing you some new colors I got from Madame Glam, as well as one that I've had in my collection for a very long time. That is one of my all-time favorites. So I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. One more thing that I would like to mention is that I am also posting videos now on an app called Amino. And if you guys don't know what that is, uh, you can definitely find it in any app store. But I'm posting different kinds of designs on, on Amino, so things that are simpler, uh, quicker to do, that are more salon style, or you know, for people that are doing their nails at home that want something quicker and easier, as well as a lot of toenail designs. And I have a bunch of patriotic stuff. So if you're looking for patriotic designs, check out Hot Pink Zero Polish on Amino. There's more there. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos here as well. I'm going to begin by painting a half circle of a color called Shimmer White at the tip of my nail. And this is actually an old color that might possibly be discontinued from Madame Glam, but I'm going to do two coats of that. Depending, you might need three of it, you know, just see how it goes. But then I'm going to be outlining Minnie's face with a black paint. So I'm just going to take, and first I outlined my half circle, and then you're going to want to add kind of like a little thicker section so just kind of thicken up the one edge right on the side of her face leave it thin near the top of her head but then take and carry those lines down into a b-shape so that she has that classic m-shaped face or heart-shaped face when you look at it this way it looks like an m but there you go once you have that then you're going to want to take some black paint and outline her sunglasses if you do not want her to have the little classic sunglasses like i have on you can definitely do just her traditional face here that would be cute, and then the red bow would still go with the rest of the nails, no question. I really liked the idea of having the flag style sunglasses on her, so I did that. It's And if you did, say, two of these, you could do one that was Mickey, so you just do everything I did except omit the bow. So you could have a Minnie Mouse nail and a Mickey Mouse nail that both have these crazy sunglasses on. So just do the outline of the glasses, and then after you have that, add just a little hint of her nose at the tip of your nail. It doesn't take too much, just like a little whoop, little little black splotch there. And then add the two circles at the top of her head for her ears. So there's the first one, fill those in with black. If you guys are thinking that this is a whole lot of black paint and you want to do just some black gel polish instead for all of this you definitely can go ahead and do that i think it's easier to work with black paint so especially for this amount of painting i prefer to use it but i know that sometimes when you have too much paint on your nails especially if you're doing regular polish it can kind of crack a little if you're doing gel you shouldn't have any issues with that so it's just something to keep in mind um, but then i'm going to take and i'm going to start outlining my bow that's going to be on the top of her head and the reason i did this kind of like at the end separately is so that you could see what mickey would look like if you decided to do mickey instead of mini but outline the bow it's kind of weird to outline it because it's partially over her ears which are already black so the lines kind of get uh missed but they are there then i'm going to be filling in one lens of the glasses with a color called smart ox blood which is a shimmery red and then the other one with under the stars which is a uber sparkly sparkly blue after that's cured i'm going to take and i'm going to be adding a little bit of white in her ears or not in her ears, in her bow. So just take white paint and sort of block that out. If you tried to go straight to your glittery red, generally speaking, some of the black underneath would go through and it wouldn't be nearly as bright. If you want it to be a really bright red, then I would suggest adding just a white base underneath it. These colors all cover fantastic, but sometimes, especially with a color that's glittery, maybe not just over the top of the black. But then I'm going to take the next one, the next color, which this one is called Chest to Chest and is a super sparkly red. I'm going to be filling that in over the top of the bow. And then I'm going to be adding stripes over the red lens of the glasses and then little dots over the blue lens and over her bow. And if you guys are wondering why I have a sparkly red and a shimmery red in this design, it was because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use more. So I decided, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to use them both. Um, you wouldn't have to. I would Normally you'd probably just do one red for everything. But they're both gorgeous colors and yeah, I love them both dearly. I just couldn't decide between them. So then on my ring and my thumbnail, I'm going to be painting two coats of that shimmer white color. If Madame Glam still has this in stock, I would highly recommend um, picking it up because this is one that has been in my kit for a really long time and it's always a favorite of mine and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a cross between white and silver. 
so it's really pretty and then I'm going to be painting on my ring of my thumb I'm going to start with that smart oxblood color and I'm going to add just a circle right like slightly lower than center in your nail depending on how long your nail is you can you know play with the placement a little bit more than my short nails but somewhere near that area and then add two smaller circles above that so you have that classic Mickey Mouse style shape I can remember once going to Disneyland I took I had uh, like a little travel eyeliner and I painted a little Mickey Mouse silhouette just like this one on my cheek and it was really cute so I've been painting these for a long time that was way before I was doing YouTube stuff that was oh I don't know a long time ago but then add the white stripes going across your little Mickey Mouse design so do just white paint you can go back to your shimmer white if you want to if you want it to match I kind of liked the fact that the stripes stood out a little bit from the background so I liked that they were a brighter white um, if you do want them to be the same then you would just want to take and do the white stripes with paint first and then go over them with a coat of the shimmer white to bring in that color otherwise your red is going to show through and you're going to have weird pink stripes but I liked the bright white I thought that the contrast made the little design stand out better than if it were exactly the same as the background. So just go ahead and add your little stripies right across there. And if you, again, if you were doing a Mickey Mouse design, you could leave it as that and you could be done. However, I'm doing Minnie Mouse, so I'm going to take that under the stars, that sparkly blue, and I'm going to be adding a blue bow. So just take and do that. If you were using like a cream color for the blue, you might want to add a couple little dots to make it look like there were some stars on it. But with my sparkly one, I figured it was good to go. On the middle nail, I'm going to be painting two coats of chest to chest, which is that really sparkly red. And the sparkles just don't show up in the video, unfortunately. This color has glitter galore. It is so pretty. And then I'm going to be taking my white paint once again and adding my horizontal stripes. And I did nice wide stripes. I wanted it to not have like a whole bunch of little stripes I want to have just a few color blocking big bold stripes so that is what I did and go across them like that very very easy very pretty very iconic um it's kind of what I was going for with this fourth of July design fourth of July is one of those things where I never have patriotic nails on because it's my birthday and I typically have something that is more me on my birthday than just patriotic stuff so I always do them a little bit of ahead of time and on my pinky nail I'm going to be painting two coats of under the stars after you cure those I'm going to be gluing a silver little star stud right up near the cuticle and then between the in the lower three little crevices between the triangles the points of the star I'm going to be adding a little red rhinestone so I've got three red rhinestones and a silver stud and it looks so cute then I'm going to be applying some gel top coat over all of my nails I love these I love how I kind of stuck with tried to with just red white and blue so like Minnie's face isn't like the normal tan color it's that shimmery white I think it looks fantastic it's very patriotic and also just kind of Disney and yeah a little bit more fun than just red stripes and blue stars so if you guys like it as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video bye